Well, hello there, go petters. Or not pet go petters. Whoever you are. Video watchers. How about that? Got, um. Got my ped sitting here. I'm gonna be going for a ride. And I just figured I'd give you a. a little view. Nothing super, super special. But it definitely is, uh, definitely worthy. MSD wire, sick end bleed pipe, 36 millimeter Chun Yang head. Uh, of course, you know, um, gas tank cover, gas cap, stock crank case from the G23, uh, Walbro 8 813 carb. Yeah, I need a new back tire. Definitely need a new back tire. Um, Chrome ADA frame, which is supposed to have all these other special supports and welds and super duty, heavy duty, and all that good stuff. And I woke up this morning and come out to give it a little wipe down because, you know, everything always runs better when it's wiped down and clean. And I'm getting a crack. I got one right there and one right over here it's going all the way across the same reason that I had bought this frame because my other one was cracked and I just like things being perfect and it's not perfect so now I'm kinda pissed um, can't really say much else about that because it can't really do nothing about it take it to a machine shop and have them weld another piece of aluminum in that bitch or something See. Got the unifilter with the velocity stack, Walbro 813 carb, um, had to get the extended throttle cable. Yeah, I'll cut this zip tie off eventually. I just kind of like it, leave it there, you know, it tickles the back of my ankle, it lets me know that I'm still ticklish. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost, so, you know. Keep the Ghostbusters represent. And yes, I do surf, so that's kind of, you know, the feet for all the uh, surf stickers. Yeah, I haven't gotten any rims for it because um, I just don't really want to put rims on it. I kind of like the black. I kind of like the black. But yeah, because that's where the little G23LH sticker used to be. Right there. It's kind of wiped down and gone away now. But, um, like I said, stock crankcase, which means it's still the same flywheel. Um, same same pull start same fan cover. The only thing I did was change the head on it, put a carb on it, and uh, exhaust. But, um, it's running. I mean, the damn thing runs really, really, really good. Like I said, you know, the, of course you gotta have the exhaust pipe. I got tired of burning my leg. So I'd burn the back of my leg every time when I'd go and get off and go and walk it somewhere. I'd end up hitting, hitting my, uh, my calf muscle or lower leg right about on here and uh, you know after about seven to twelve times of getting burned by that thing I was like forget that mess um, went with the uh, you know the whole old school style um, playing cards put the little border on there with the you know my lucky number 13 everybody else say it is an unlucky number but you know So yeah, the chrome frame, chrome forks, uh, I go through tires on the back regularly. Um, oh yeah, my little added feature to the gas tank right here, that is um, my gas tank breather. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty, pretty nifty lift, 
little um, aftermarket piece I installed. Just drilled a hole in the top of the gas tank and put me a little little breather cap in there. That way uh, I don't have to keep loosening the, the cap to let the pressure out. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's an overall view of the ped. And I've got other, other videos of me riding it, so I'm not going to make many more because I mean, once, you've, once, once you've heard it and rode the ped once, it's the same every other time. So No need to bore you with that. Um, it's, it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. We all, all, everybody that I know of, we, uh, we've nicknamed this exhaust pipe the whale dork. And that is actual technical terms for a whale's penis. And if you've ever seen a whale's penis, watch National Geographic Channel and you'll find out. It looks like a whale dork. But yeah, I'm definitely not too happy about the whole um, cracked frame thing. I know it's not structural, like a structural support that is going to hinder me in any way, but at the same time, it's still a brand new frame with brand new parts, and now it's cracked, and I have to worry about either doing away with this back section, which is from right there all the way down, cut that off, and grind it down and pretty it up and make it look good or take it to a machine shop and have them weld a whole nother plate back on top here which you know I it's all it's all money either way either way but that's the beast that is my beast and uh, I drive probably about 30 about 20 I'll say 20 to 35 miles a day I put on this scooter and um, she never gives me any problems change a spark plug every now and then and that's about it man I blew the head gasket in it once and that was you know that was my own fault I, I knew I, I knew it was gonna happen I leaned it out just a little tiny bit maybe a sixteenth of a turn on the high jet and yeah it was running really good you know it had a nice look nice nice pep to it wasn't doing anything as far as hindering the motor but yeah I, I just like to take care of my stuff and you know, sure 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 shit man it didn't shut off it just wouldn't lower the idle it just had a real high you know it was always running at like eight thousand rpms so I, it still got me where I needed to go. It didn't didn't leave me stranded on the side of the road, and uh, saw that the whole back corner of the gasket was blown out on it. So brought it home, got extra gaskets in my backpack. 45 minutes later, once the Loctite dried, boom, I'm back running again. Can't hold me down. All right, well, there's the ped. Hope you guys have enjoyed the. Uh, the view and if you want to hear how it runs you know see how fast it is go click on one of my other videos and you'll find out